tipped off by a presenter hopeful who also happens to be a Miss Earth South Africa finalist, Simba sought out one of Bloemfontein's more unusual lunch spots. Whenever I travel, I always like to find really interesting places, especially in a place like Bloom. It's got to be quirky, kind of funky with some great food. And luckily, one of our hopefuls says she knows the perfect place. Great to have you here. Well, thank you for having me. Just the kind of place I was looking for. Yes, it's a very nice place. It's my favorite place in Bloom to come to. That's why I brought you here. Anshin has a passion for all things quirky and offbeat, as clearly do the owners of this eatery. Looking around at the decor seems very random, but it works. We actually are three very different uh, personalities that started Ivish Nas about five years ago. We sat at home and we said to ourselves, if we want to go somewhere, let's go Ivish Nas, let's go someplace nice. And there wasn't anything for us, so we decided to create it ourselves. Does the decor translate into the menu? Yes, very much so. Um, I think it's very important thing for us was to to, to move away from your more traditional breakfast and lunch um, ideas. So we've played with the menu and we want to make it a, a visible um, feast, if I can call it that. Uh, one of our favorite items is the homemade Rosti Revelation. Uh, we make our own uh, roasted vegetable and potato hash browns and we top that with a variety of decadent toppings. Anshin feeds her soul by being involved in worthy causes thanks to her beauty pageant exposure. And for her, beauty is not just skin deep. What is it that you love so much about beauty pageants? Well, it's the whole experience of it. I get to know myself, I learn a lot. And we are actually doing work within our communities and we are working hard and we are making a difference and we are reaching out to other people. That's what I love about it and it teaches me a lot. The food is great, it works so well with this place. Thank you for bringing me here. It's a pleasure, I'm glad you enjoyed it. With the fun and lunch over, it's time for Anshin to face the judges. What's going through your mind right now? I'm a bit stressed, but not a lot, but it's always stressful to do stuff like this because you want to do everything right, but I'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine, eh? Yes. You know, I think the judges are waiting for you. Well, thank you. Good luck, eh? Thank you. He got his big break when dressing Strictly Come Dance, Dancing's presenter Cindy and Gamer, from farm boy to SA's fashion designer, and also now in the team for the Volvo Big Drive. We welcome Khat Johan Kutsia. Oh. Again, people, this isn't top swinging. Hello. Hello. Hey. How are you? I'm fine and you? Good, good. good. Right. You can probably leave your backpack somewhere. Alright, just That's mm. fantastic. Uh, ladies and uh, gentlemen, welcome there to home. Here's your host, uh, William Tamahane, on your favorite channel, SABC3. And the program is Top Billy. And today's guest, uh, ladies and gentlemen, she's a class of um, 80s. Her name is PJ Powers of Hotline. Hey. Good evening. Thank you, Candice, for joining us on Top Billy. At the age of 23, you became an international fashion model. How did it happen? You can do it. Come on. <sighs> Sorry. Mikasa Music, the multi-award winning performance, is one of the... Oh, you are. Uh, oh, he forgot his own script. Move on. It's okay. Don't think he saw the script. Okay. I should take my time. She just loved the script, but then... Good evening and welcome to Top Billing. My name is Amanda Nchoko. I'll be the host for tonight's show. Good evening. Welcome and thank you for tuning in to another exciting episode of Top Billing. I'm your host, Desiree Busak. Today on Top Billing, we'll be talking to the international, successful and beautiful Terry Peto. All the hopefuls sitting here knows. I want to see how some of them feel. I see, I see Miss Freeside over there. Let's see how she's doing. Pietru, how are you doing? How are you feeling? I'm good. I'm excited. It's a bit chilly in bloom this morning, so I think we're all ready to go. <laughs> well, good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you so much. A chartered accountant with one of the world's largest firms, Pietru is also a dancing queen, enjoying Irish tap, hip-hop, ballet, and contemporary styles. Plus, she's the current Miss World Universal Ambassador. Next stop, top billing presenter... You see, now this is more like it. This is exactly where I'd expect a beauty queen like you to hang out. This is for after hours, you know. I love, I love, I love coming here. It's really, it's, it's a bit of an upscale place, but it's still relaxed. 
What's life like as Miss Free State? It was quite challenging. Uh, I think I had a different picture in my head of how it was going to be. And then when I won, it, it really changed my life because the people I met and the kids I worked with, with my involvement with Reach for a Dream, it was, it was really special. You seem like someone who has it all together. Chartered accountant, beauty queen, where to from here? If you're a public figure, then you have a responsibility, yes, but you also have that opportunity of using it for the good cause. And I think that's what I'm really interested in. Well, good luck to you. Thank you. See you later. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm backstage at the Sun City Super Bowl just after the final show of Michael Bublé's Crazy Love Tour. And what an amazing show it was. I think some of the ladies in the audience might have fallen in love. <sighs> Good evening and welcome to Top Beeling. My name is Mapi Ramachibe. On tonight's show, we get up close and personal with our world-renowned soccer star, Mr. Steven Pina. And later on, we'll be showing you a clip from a royal wedding of King Lydia III that took place at the Soto Sound Hotel. In 2007, he was named Sexiest Man Alive by People magazine. Not only is Matt Damon an actor, producer and screenwriter, but he's also a very gifted philanthropist. Beneath the designer suits and easy smiles of this polished man is a doctor, a company director and, well, a family man. Well, this goes to show you that this man is a man of many achievements, a man who worked his destiny on a very grand scale of perfection. Michael Moore. Oh yes, Michael Moll is indeed his name. From sleeping in his car and eventually becoming a multi-millionaire mogul, he single-handedly changed the world of film and television. True to his word, Tyler Perry is a force to be reckoned with, the brainchild behind Why Did I Get Married, for Color Girls and Good Deeds. On top of it, we have the pleasure and the honor of talking to a quintessential man who built an empire on his own. Welcome to Top Billing. After conquering the terror of the judging panel and fighting off nerves, relief would be around the corner for the fortunate few selected to get the call back to head for Joburg, City of Gold and the next round. Bloom, what an experience. I can definitely say I've been entertained. How was it for you? Interesting it was. People came out in numbers. They tried their best. I'm surprised at how many people said this is the city of roses. I haven't even seen one. No, I'll be your rose, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's it from Bloom. Up next we have Durban. Cheers, guys.